Elementary sees a lot of this kind of narrative writing task prompt. Elementary. We don't see it nearly as much in the middle and high school, but we see it in the elementary. We got to work on this. We got to work on this. I said there are two things that I would make sure kids can do when you're working on the narrative writing task. The first one is plot. They got to get that. They got to get the idea of there's a problem needing to be solved. The second thing is right here. You have got to tell them what counts as evidence in these kinds of tasks. This is the second most important thing. What is evidence? Remember, they're writing and demonstrating comprehension based on reading. They're going to do it through writing, and they have to cite evidence. Wait a minute. How do they currently cite evidence when they write? According to the text... One detail in the original pa Okay, now wait a minute. They're writing a story. They're not going to use those. Who's telling me that? Who's telling me how I demonstrate evidence if it's not with the story or with those sentence starters? Well, how do you demonstrate comprehension? How do you cite evidence by repeating? By repeating setting details from the original text. Every time you mention the character's name, okay, yeah, that's repeating what was the, in the original. But if you mention something he did previously, thought previously, said previously, any repetition of information told in the original, that is evidence. I read it. I understood it. As you weave in details, not in quotes, no sentence starter, uh, one detail from the read, no, just weave them in. Just weave them in. That's what we're going to do. And in order to do that, they have to know them. They have to have paid attention to them. They had to take note of them, which leads us to this next bullet uh, or triangle on our scaffold. Kids should make a list of what is known. What do we know about the setting? Well, we know it was cold. We know it was winter. We know, okay, any of those words you can weave in, awesome. What do you know about the problem? Well, we know this. We know this. We know this. It said this. It said good. Any of those words or phrases you can weave in, do it. What do we know about the characters? What do we know about the fast facts of the characters? That's what I teach kids. Authors develop characters using fast facts. Fast is an acronym. They develop characters with feelings, actions, speech or dialogue, and thoughts. What do we know about characters? It, yeah, hey, if you're going to write this from a different character's point of view, you better have a good handle on that different character. What do we know about that character? Because you want to make sure to weave that in. What is known and then repeated is how you demonstrate comprehension. In fact, when we get to the point of actually writing our own narratives based on reading, I'll have kids read the text, track or list the details. Yep, they write their story, but before they turn it in, they highlight every repetitive detail. They highlight everything they said repeated from the original text. And we say, that's evidence. Do you have a lot of highlights? Good job. Good job. 